Hello, I'm Dr. Eve. Welcome to my new sexual health center. This is a place where I offer you therapy, where events are held, and we have a fabulous sexual health store, which you're going to peek into at another time. In the center, my aim is to be able to provide you with entertainment and education, all revolving around sexual health and relationships and sexual medicine as well. So I invite you to participate. I'm faced with a number of conundrums, and I'm talking to you about conundrums for the next few weeks. I would love to hear your opinion. So post me your comments and tweet, tweet me. Let me know what you think about some of the discussions and conundrums that I'm faced with on a daily basis right here in the Sexual Health Center. So one of the things that women and I think their partners, their male partners are more concerned about than the actual woman is, are you having an orgasm? What are the signs that I am a, as a woman and having an orgasm? I was recently faced with a woman who's been married for something like 30 years and said she doesn't ever think she's had an orgasm. And it was like, okay, join the queue of women because this is so commonplace. I don't even think this is problematic. And she looked at me so earnestly and said, how will I know if I'm having an orgasm? I said, well, there are some physical signs that you can tell, such as your feet curling, such as having elevated blood pressure, your heart rate increases, your pulse rate increases. You as a woman are going to have some light perspiration sweat on your upper chest and on your face. You're also going to find that you have contractions in your pelvic region, your vaginal area, your anal area, and in your upper thighs as well. And you might be quite vocal when you have an orgasm, or you could be really quiet as well. But you're going to feel your body questing and rising up to a wave and then falling down. And then you know that incredible sense of relief that the hormones that are released with orgasm bring you that wonderful feeling of relaxation, closeness, intimacy with your partner because of two main hormones that are released at that particular time. That's what's becoming orgasmic. If you're walking around feeling kind of tight and swollen and engorged and not feeling that sense of relief, you haven't yet had an orgasm. The question that I have for you is, do you tell your partner or don't you? Do you fake your orgasm or don't you? At what point in a relationship do you say to your partner, I haven't had an orgasm? Do you just buy a sex toy and think I'm solving the problem that way? Well, I think honesty is always best. And the way to begin to have an orgasm, of course, is through your own masturbation. Buy my book, Pillow Book. Learn how to masturbate. Become au fait and friendly with your own body. Once you become orgasmic as a woman on your own, it's way easier to surrender and release and know what to expect and what to feel, how to guide a partner. I wish you many orgasms because that will motivate you to want to have more sex. Find me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and please come into the Sexual Health Center. I shall welcome you.